it hurt me to the core, you know, that I lost my home, you know, that I've been working hard to get. And that was mine, but it was taken away because he was being greedy, I guess, amongst himself. We begin tonight with an on your side investigation, words of disappointment and anger from a Jacksonville woman who was expecting to move into her new home with her family before the holidays. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Anthony Austin and I'm Heather Crawford. The sale was set to close this past Monday, but the seller local attorney David Taylor did not show up for the closing. Well, then the buyer discovered that Taylor had actually rented the house while that sale was pending. So what happened? Well, Ken Amaro is on your side tonight looking into the complaint and joins us now with the story. Ken. It's kind of crazy what happened. As you might imagine, it is causing a lot of heartaches and a lot of headaches. Attorney David Taylor signed a contract to sell his property for $118,000. But at the last minute, he did a U-turn, leaving the buyer homeless and the realtors very bewildered. It's a modest house on a narrow street, but it's the perfect house. The first time home buyer, Paula Mitchell. I had to inspect it. Everything was clear to go. This is a sale agreement between Mitchell and David Taylor. Mitchell signed it November 1st, 2017. Taylor signed it two days later. You guys had a signed sale agreement. Contract, contract, everything. contract everything. Taylor agreed to sell the house to Mitchell for $118,000. He's in default. He's in default. Derek Hartley of Trinity Real Estate is Mitchell's agent. Hartley says it was he who discovered the house was occupied. So I called the police and they had a lease. And I was like, well, I know how the squatters do. They'll make up a lease. But it was, I called the number to the, the number that's on the lease, and it was to um, David Taylor's office. David Taylor is a Jacksonville attorney who's had his share of problems. The bar suspended Taylor's license in 2011, and he was publicly reprimanded in 2016. The sale of the house on Hunt Street was expected to close this past Monday, but Taylor was a no-show. He said he hasn't heard from his realtor in eight weeks which is not true. I can understand if he would have said, hey, I don't want to sell a home anymore, but he, no one in his office, no one, his realtor, no one had told me about it. It hurt me to the core, you know, that I lost my home. Mitchell, who is buying this house through the city's first time home buyers program, is back to square one. Got to start all over again. If she's unable to buy another home in 30 days, Mitchell will have to qualify for a loan again and she may lose her first time home buyer's down payment assistance. She says this fiasco has already cost her $2,000. We're going to sue him. I'll put my money up. We'll sue him. Now, David T Taylor told me by phone I was looking forward to closing. I was told it would be last Wednesday, and I leased the house on Thursday after the lending fell through. I hate this, he said. My realtor let me down. But the title company's timeline showed that the closing date remained the same. It never changed. The attorney wrote, at no time did anyone from our office ever indicate that the closing schedule for Monday, December 18th was canceled. Clearly, this buying disaster is headed to court. Back to you. Mm, so unfortunate for her. Thank you, Ken.